everybody, welcome back. And in last week's video, well, for the last two weeks, we've been looking about the Passover. The real reason we looked about the Passover is to understand about the Lord's Memorial Day. And for this, we looked in Exodus 12 and 13th chapter and Numbers 9th chapter to understand about this. So we learned about the Passover and its ordinance and about how the laws must be strictly understood and followed by the Israelites. And they obeyed and followed this. But for the people who did not, they'll be cut off and will not be saved from the consequence of sin. And then we looked about how the point about how it should be on a pointed time and day exactly. And there should be no change to this. And that's what today's topic is going to be about. Why was God so serious to the Israelites that they had to have the same appointed time and day? Well, today we will be understanding this and find the pic real picture in this shadow. So let's find out, let's reveal the truth about this divine plan from God. So we know, so well, in the New Testament, actually, Jesus Christ in his first advent is introduced as the Lamb of God by John the Baptist himself in John 1.29, who is also following the Passover feast as a Jew. And especially in Gospel of John, so the book of John, we need to understand that there's Passover feasts taking place. And Jesus Christ in AD 29 to AD 33, this point is recorded in the Gospel of John. So AD 29 and AD 33, you might think, what are these important points? So AD 29 is the point of Jesus Christ's baptism. AD 33 is his death. Death. So there was four Passovers in between this. So what we can see is, is recorded completely about this in the John book. So what's in the John book it says then, Jesus Christ celebrates the three of the Passovers with John in the Passover feast. But on the fourth pa Passover, sorry, rather he going to the attend the pa um participate he himself gives his holy life as the Passover lamb to save this whole world from the plague of sin. So now we need to understand the really big point. Yes, in this, this is the same Nissan 14 between the two evenings of 3 p.m. During his last Passover season, he sacrificed his life for us, which we can read in Mark 15, chapter 25th to 33rd to 34th verse. So which talks about the third hour, sixth hour and ninth hour it means basically six o'clock is the 12th hour we need to know 12th hour basically means this is how they calculate in the lunar method so after six is the first hour which is seven second hour eight so the same thing the ninth hour is 3 p.m and this is when jesus christ died for us so what a savior we've had he has died for us so please watch arrow 27 28 29 these three videos clearly explain about this point about the six seven sixth hour um third hour and ninth hour yeah so if you go into this you can clearly understand about this much more so this is why apostle paul told us in actually as well in first Corinthians fifth chapter seventh verse which clearly says um christ is our passover lamb and sacrificed his life for us this is not the verse but you can read the verse but this is the in general thing what it talks about so the appointed time and day was given to the israelites and the spiritual meaning about it is the ransom sacrifice our savior had done since he fulfilled this and he um fulfilled the old law sorry and gave a new covenant to remember and this is recorded in the 11th book of first corinthians so we can read um first corinthians 11th chapter 23rd to 25th verse which explains about the new covenant so let's go read it in the book of the bible So 1 Corinthians 11, chapter 23rd to 25th verse. Okay. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, say, Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is, sorry, my body which is broken for you. This is do in remembrance of me next the 25th verse after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this is the cup of the new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as ye drink it in the remembrance of me so it just said drink this in the remembrance of me this is the king james version so it's in a bit of old language so yeah so here Apostle Paul is actually explaining this. He is not in the upper room in this presence, but during the Last Supper, of course, because Judas is still there. Since we know, or oh, I'm pretty sure most of you should know that Judas was replaced by Apostle Paul since he had betrayed him. 
like it clearly says in the verse. But it was revealed to him by Jesus Christ later on. And he clearly mentions that he was, Jesus Christ had actually told, told us in the upper room. So yes, the remembrance of, um, so there's a, the, the remem, the remembrance of the, is the emblem of the bread and the grape juice is the spiritual meaning of his body and blood for us. Sorry for that stammer there in the middle. So I'll say again just to clearly understand. So the emblem of blood and bread is clear. No, what? Bread and wine was um, the emblem to his body and his blood. So the Last Supper has happened on Nissan 14 on the open evening after 6 p.m. Because the closing evening, 3 p.m., is where he gave his life for us. So we know now the closing evening, 3 p.m., is the ninth hour as we look today. And like I said, 27, 28, 29 arrows Make sure to go look to understand more about this. So at the same time, every year, the God children who understand the truth follow this as the memorial day, as he told us, and to remember him on this day every year on Nisan 14th. And the opening evening on this year we shall be on April 14th after 6 p.m. So we shall celebrate it this year, April 14th. As God's children, we should remember this and do this memorial day every single year. So that's all for today. And that's the end of our Passover, well, Lord's Memorial topic. So next week, we'll be going back into the God's kingdom, of course, because it's the end of the Passover topic for now. But of course, this will be back next year on the date of the Passover, Lord's Memorial Day, of course. So now let's look at the recap of today. So first, we look about the recap of last week. Then we looked about how, how John the Baptist, it was recorded about uh about record about uh how the four passovers were taking place in ad 29 and 33 and we looked on the fourth passover how he had gave his life for us and then we know that uh we looked about the third hour sixth hour and ninth hour we looked about how sixth hour is the tw sixth six o'clock is 12 the 12th hour seven o'clock is the first hour and eight o'clock is the second hour and that means the ninth hour is 3 p.m when jesus christ had died and then we looked about how jesus christ had fulfilled the old law about the passover and brought in the new law about the lord's memorial day about the bread and wine which is the emblem of his blood and body and then we looked about how nissan 14 is the opening evening after 6 p.m. Because the closing evening is 3 p.m. is where he gave his life for us. And then we looked about finally that we should do this every year in remembrance of him. And this year it's going to be on April 14th after 6 p.m. So that's all for today, guys. And I'll see you next week to talk about the God's kingdom topic again. See you next time. Bye.